Fans are also paying tribute. The news broke today just hours before the Cardinals took the field in Los Angeles. Mark Maxwell continues our team coverage tonight. He's live outside Bush Stadium with reaction from Cardinals Nation. Mike Shannon didn't just hit iconic moonshots out of the ballpark. He described those moments in a way that brought fans into the stadium. Tributes to Mike Shannon crackled across the airwaves over St. Louis after Sunday's Cardinals game. He, he's just a true treasure that grew up here in St. Louis. He was an icon in St. Louis for so long. When he broke into the big leagues, construction crews had not yet broken ground on the arch. It has been a tough day for Cardinals fans. Cardinals radio postgame host Matt Pauley fielded calls for Shannon on KMOX radio. And share your thoughts, share your memories. You can remember Shannon. The All-American athlete grew up to hit a home run for his hometown Cardinals in Game 1 of the 1964 World Series. He shared dugouts with Bob Gibson, Stan Musial, and Roger Maris. Shared a broadcast booth with Jack Buck, Harry Carey, and John Rooney. But what he loved most was to share stories with Cardinals fans for 50 years. The biggest compliment I get is the, the visually impaired. When they come to the ballpark and they bring a radio, they say, well, the, the picture's painted for me. If you were listening to a game on the radio, you could see the game. It was pretty neat. Susan Cole was just sitting down at Lester's in Ladue when she and her friends learned Shannon died. I loved him playing third base. He was a really great third baseman. It was a lot of fun to watch him play. And I think a couple of beers always made him, you know, a lot more fun too. <laughs> so many of his calls just stick with you forever. Take a little whip of that, big boy. Turn on the TV and you hear boys. You, especially someone like Shannon, you you know it's the Cardinals. For Corey Bruns, hearing Shannon's signature catchphrase meant his customers were having a good day. He's got so many great uh, Shannonisms, as they call it. Get up, baby. Yeah, that's the one that comes to mind the most. Get up, get, get up, baby, get up. Yeah, yeah. These fans won't soon forget the Moon Man, a Cardinals star who brought them a slice of baseball heaven. You know, as much time of his life he put into the organization, I, I think they could, the least they could do is a statue. Mike Shannon had those triumphs, the two World Series, but also faced adversity. It was kidney disease that cut his playing days short, just nine years in Major League Baseball, all nine of them with the Cardinals uh, before he would become an Emmy Award-winning sportscaster. His son, Tim Shannon, said in a statement today, quote, my dad lived his life to the fullest and he squeezed every drop from it. Live outside Bush Stadium, Mark Maxwell, five on your side.